Here in this section, we have numerical integration, the trapezoidal rule is to approximate integral from a to b f of x um, dx we have to use t equal to delta x divided by 2 delta x is equal to b minus a divided by n so delta x divided by 2 times y0 plus 2y1 plus 2y2 plus we can use three dots plus 2y n minus 1 plus y n so y are the values of f at the partition point and what we have for the starting point x0 is a so that is starting point and ending point is b so x1 is equal to a plus delta x x2 is equal to a plus 2 times delta x three dots and then we have xn minus 1 equal to a plus here we have n minus 1 times delta x so here the first step what we had on this part this is 1 times delta x and for this part we have x0 is equal to a plus 0 times delta x and that is equal to a and here finally we have xn is equal to b which is our ending point so here on this part we have this curve we're going to use trapezoid rule um, to evaluate the area under the curves by dividing the total area into smaller trapezoids rather than using rectangles so here we divide it into smaller trapezoids and starting point is a ending point is b here we have delta x that is b minus a divided by n so area for trapezoid is um, for example if we use the support we should add these two bases multiply by h divided by 2 so that is area for trapezoid and here in this case what we have we have y1 plus y2 multiplied by what we usually use its basis times height and in this case what we have that is delta x so multiplied by delta x and then finally divided by 2 so this is formula for trapezoid area now here on this part we have Simpson's rule uh, approximates short stretches of the uh, curve with parabolas. So here again starting point A and ending point B. And we have y0, y1, y2 and here on this part we have edge. So this curve, uh, this one is y equal to f of x. By integrating from negative h to h, we find the shaded area to be so this part to be h divided by 3 times y0 plus 4 times y1 plus y2. And what we have for y, this is equal to a times x squared plus bx plus c. So c is constant. So what we have here on this part is from negative h to h and we have these points negative h comma y0 0 comma y1 h comma y2 so based on these we have area equal to h divided by 3 times y0 plus 4y1 plus y2 so what this means, uh, what we have for Simpson uh, rule, that is to approximate the integral from a to b f of x times dx. We use s equal to delta x divided by 3. So here we have h, and instead here I have delta x. So delta x divided by 3 times y0 plus 4y1 plus 2y2 plus 4y3 plus using 3 dots. And then we have 2yn minus 2. Again, we have 4, so 4 times 
y n minus one plus y n. So what we have here, here coefficient is one, here is four, here is two. Again, we repeat it. So we repeat it four and two. So here we have four. Again, we're gonna have two. Again, we have four. And then at the end, what we have here is one. So divide all the values of f at the partition point. What we have for x0 is equal to a, that is starting point. x1 is equal to a plus delta x. x2 is equal to a plus 2 times delta x, so same as what we have for trapezoidal rule. Uh, here again, 1 times, here is 2 times. Then for x n minus 1 is equal to a plus, again, n minus 1 times delta x, and finally ending point is b. And here again, in this case, uh, delta x is equal to b minus a divided by n, exactly the same as trapezoidal rule. And the number n is even on this part. Now here on this part we have error estimated in the trapezoidal and error estimated in uh, Simpson's rule. If second derivative is continuous and m is any uh, upper bond for the values of absolute value of uh, second derivative on closed interval a comma b, then the error e t uh, e is for error and t is for trapezoid. In the trapezoidal approximation of the integral of f from a to b for n uh, steps satisfy the inequality. So what we have here for our estimate for trapezoidal uh, rule. This is less than or equal to m times um, b minus a cube divided by tall n square. And then uh, what we have here on this part, this is for Simpson's rule. If fourth um, derivative is continuous and m is any upper bound for the values of as a value of fourth derivative on closed interval a comma b, then the error. So this one e for error and s is for Simpson. In the Simpson uh, rule approximation of the integral of f from a to b for n steps satisfy the inequality. So what we have here for uh, error estimate for Simpson's rule that is less than or equal to m times b minus a to the fifth power divided by 180 times n to the fourth power. So here on the spot, power is 3, and here we have 5 for Simpson's rule. And the difference between these two here in denominator, uh, for trapezoidal, we have 12 n squared, and for Simpson's, we have 180 times n to the fourth power. Example, evaluate integral from 2 uh, to 8, 3x times dx using trapezoidal rule and Simpson's rule. Determine the value of the integral directly, then we have to uh, find the trapezoidal rule estimate for n equal to 4, and upper uh, one for um, error estimate for trapezoidal rule, the upper point for um, error estimate for trapezoidal rule as a, a percentage of the integral's rule value, and then find the Simpson's rule estimate for n equal to 4, an upper point for um, error estimate for Simpson's rule, and then the upper point for E is as a percentage of the integral's true value. So for the first part, the value of integral is uh, 3 over 2 times x squared. So what we have here, it's 3x dx. Uh, here power is 1, so 1 plus 1 over is 2, and then divided by 2, we're going to have 3 over 2 times x squared, and that is from 2 to 8. So now using 8 instead for x, and then use 2 instead for x. So we have 3 over 2 times, first using 8. So we have 8 uh, squared minus 3 over 2 times, now using 2, 2 squared. Now simplify, so we have 8 squared is 64, 2 squared is 4, and simplify 64 divided by 2, we have 32, 4 divided by 2, we have 2 times 3, we have 6, so 3 times 32, that is 96, and minus 6, uh, the answer is 90. 
And now for part two, uh, the trapezoidal rule estimate for n equals to 4, what we have um, based on part a, the answer for integral is equal to 90. So using that for it, here what we have for C, the symbolic form of trapezoidal rule, that is uh, t equal to delta x divided by 2 times y0 plus 2y1. Uh, plus 2y2 plus 3 dots plus 2yn minus 1 plus yn. So based on this one and what we had in port 80 to represent the rule estimate of uh, integral for band n is equal to 4, that is uh, 90. So the answer that I have here for trapezoidal rule estimate that is based on what I had in port A and that is equal to 90. Now we have to find upper one. So this is the symbolic form of the error estimate for trapezoidal rule. So that is less than or equal to m times b minus a cubed divided by 12 m squared. a and b are endpoints of the interval. And n, the number of divisions of closed interval a comma b and m, and any upper one of second derivative of f on closed interval a comma b. So in this case, the largest value of second derivative um, on closed interval is 0. And that is uh, based on what was given for integral. So the integral is um, from 2 to 8, 3x dx. So this part is f of x, first derivative or f prime, that is equal to 3, second derivative is equal to 0. So uh, also any number greater than zero could be taken as a value for upper bond m. Uh, the smallest estimate error um, results from the choice of upper bond equal to zero. So what we have here our estimate uh, of trapezoidal rule less than or equal to zero, and we're gonna use we're gonna use the smallest estimate error, and that is zero. So. The answer here for this part is zero. Now next part, the upper point for um, error um, for trapezoidal rule as a percentage. So here we're gonna use what we had uh, in part three uh, to find the answer for part four, but here in this case we should have a percent. So percentage of the integrals rule value. Since the smallest estimate error is equal to zero from uh, part three, it is zero percent of the integral value. So the answer for part four is zero percent. So here on this part, we have a symbolic form of Simpson's rule, and the Simpson's rule estimate of um, integral two uh, to eight, three x times dx, for when uh, n is equal to four, that is ninety, and this is based on what we had in part a. Now here, our next part, we have to find upper one for uh, ES. So here we have some like form of the error estimate for Simpson's rule. That is less than or equal to m times b minus a to the fifth power uh, divided by 180 times n to the fourth power. With a and b, uh, the end points of the interval and n, the number of divisions of closed interval a comma b and m any upper point for um, what we have here on this part, we have to work based on um, fourth derivative. So m any upper point of fourth derivative on closed interval. So here f of x um, based on this integral f of x is 3x and what we had on the first part second derivative was equal to zero for trapezoid and here for Simpson's rule uh, for derivative is equal to zero, so the smallest value of upper point m is zero. Next for the upper point for uh, es as a percentage of the integral's true value. So what we have here on the score m is zero. So when m is zero, es less than or equal to zero, and the upper point of uh, es as a percentage of the integral's value is. 0%. So the answer for this part is 
and that was based on what we had here in this part for upper bond equal to zero. Estimate the minimum number of sample intervals to approximate the value of intervals from zero to one, six t cube uh, plus thirteen t times dt with an error of magnitude less than ten to the power negative four using Point A, the error estimate formula for the trapezoidal rule. Uh, part B, the error estimate formula for Simpson rule. Using the trapezoidal rule, the error uh, is equal to m times b minus a cubed divided by 12 n squared. Imply that the minimum number of subintervals um, is equal to square root of m times b minus a cubed divided by 12 times et so here what i did i isolate n so from this one isolate n i multiplied so i have 12 n squared times et equal to here denominator one so one times m times b minus a cube and then uh divided both sides by 12 et so I cancel that part and what's left here on left side we have n square and here on this side again uh, divide by 12 et and then uh, because of having this power I use square root on both sides so here n is equal to square root of m times b minus a cube divided by 12 et So we're going to use this n uh, to find the min minimum number of intervals and run up to the next integer. m is the least uh, upper uh, bond of second derivative um, of f on uh, closing to all a comma b, and a is lower limit of integration. b is upper limit of integration. So the number of intervals calculated will be on uh, will be a minimum if m is the least upper bound of second derivative. So we're going to use the second derivative on uh, close interval. So here f t is 6 uh, t cubed plus 13 t. f prime is equal to 3 times 6, 18 t squared plus 13. And second derivative of f is equal to 2 times 18, so that is 36 times t. That, um, this means the, the least upper bond is 36. And now find the minimum number of subintervals n, substitute the given value and the value of m uh, here on this equation. So here we have n equal to square root of m is 36 times b is 1, a is 0 cube so 1 minus 0 cube and the denominator we have 12 times 10 to the power negative 4 this is what is given error of magnitude less than 10 to the negative 4 but that means here we have 12 times 0 0.0001 so what we have uh, here on this part, this is equal to 173.205, and we have to run up. So our answer is 174. Now here on this part, using Simpson's rule, uh, the error is equal to m times b minus a to the fifth power divided by 180 times n to the fourth power. The value of n must be a positive even number, and m is the least uh, upper bound of uh, four derivative um, so the least upper point is zero based on what we have here so this one was f uh, t that is equal to 6 t cube plus 13 t and for derivative um, of this function that is equal to zero so if we use zero here on this part um, to find n and how I got this n, I used this formula, isolate n. 
So I multiplied uh, these first. Uh, I have 180 n to the fourth power times e s equal to uh, m times b minus a to the fifth power. So you have this part. And then I divided both sides by 180 e s. It's the same thing on this part. And then simplify. So I this part cancels. So we have n to the fourth power equal to m times b minus a to the fifth power divided by 180 times a s. And then here we have this fourth power. We want to um, find n. So because of this four, I have to use on this side and right side, I have to use fourth root of m times b minus a to the fifth power divided by 180 times a s. So this is what we have for n. Uh, we're going to use that to find number of subintervals. So based on what we have here, uh, m is 0. But the point is that n should be even number. So if I use this 0 instead of m, we're going to have 0. But we're not able to use 0 because 0 is not even. And the minimum number uh, of inter subintervals in this case is 2. So 2 is even, and we're going to use that number, which is the smallest even number that we are able to find in this case. So the value of n must be positive even number, m at least uh, upper bond of fourth derivative. This least upper bond is 0. Therefore, the minimum number of subintervals required is 2, and this 2 is even number. So we cannot have 0 when it's 2 because it should be a positive even number.